Hey guys, Jared here. I haven't done one of these in a little while now, and it's funny because it's sort of like my thing. I keep saying that. Well, hey guys, I haven't seen you in a little while now. Uh, but uh, there's uh, some important news that I need to reveal to all of you guys. Uh, an opportunity has uh, basically presented itself, and I'm, I'm currently in the process of studying for my GMAT, which is the Graduate Admission, uh, no, what is it? Graduate Management Admissions Test. And the reason why I'm doing this is because an opportunity, again, has presented itself whereby I uh, might be able to do my Executive MBA. That's a pretty big deal. That's a, that's, that's a pretty big deal. I, I didn't really expect this but uh, just the opportunity presented itself. So I'm kind of like, ugh, I don't know what to do. So I haven't been in school in probably 13 years, near, near 15 years, somewhere, somewhere in that ballpark. So if you don't know what a GMAT is, a GMAT is basically something like the SATs, something like that. It's essentially a standardized admissions test. It really is. Uh, so it's got things like, you know, high school level mathematics, algebra, trigonometry, geometry, stuff like that. Uh, it has stuff like understanding the English language, so English comprehension, um, grammatical errors, and, and even more context errors. Uh, what they'll do is they'll take typical English uh, sentences, little paragraphs, things like that, and there'll be something wrong with it, they'll underline it, and they'll say like, okay, so which of the following five is the right way to say this? Uh, but because we speak so poorly, it's actually quite a challenge to do this. Then you have data sufficiency, so what is that? That's basically where you'll have like, uh, x is greater than, um, I don't know, y plus 6, which is less than 24. You know, something like that, and then they'll give you some statements with this. And you have to say, well, statement one is valid, or statement two is valid, or one is valid, two isn't, or some variation like that. So anyways, all this to say that, like, I haven't, I haven't actually been in the school system in many, 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 many years. So because I'm, I'm contemplating doing this, you have to do this particular test as part of it. And I'm not an idiot by any stretch of the imagination, I hope. Uh, so I, I did like a practice test. That's what they tell you to do. They're like, do a practice test, see what you're weak on, see what, you're, you know, what, what some of your strengths are, and then focus on those weaker areas. Uh, the reality is, though, that's really for students. So if you're out of school and you, you, know, you work for, say, like a year or something like that, and you're like, you know what, no, I want to go and get my master's, it's designed more for those people. It's... it's when you've been away from school for as long as I have, it's much more challenging because you do the practice test and it's not so much that, you know, you you suck at everything. It's not that. It's that you need a refresher across the board because you're just not used to thinking a certain way. In particular with the verbal stuff, but also with math. You're like, I know there's a lot of you guys out there. Uh, that just don't really like math. Thankfully, I do like math. So that is actually one of the areas where I'm strong at. Although again, I need, I need a refresher. So what I've done is I've purchased a couple of books. Uh, I'm gonna start a study plan this week where I'm going to start to figure out like, okay, so how, how exactly am I gonna do this? Uh, ballpark for writing the exam right now is probably somewhere around June, um, mid-June end of June, something like that. It does take a few weeks for the, the professors to actually, or the faculty, to look over your, your um, essay that you have to write. That's how it starts. And then they, they basically, as long as it matches what the computer said, okay, um, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, it's on 800 and you need around 500 for an executive level you need about 500. Now, for a regular MBA, you'd most likely, at some of the top schools, you'd probably need like 700. Like, you'd have to get really close to being in the top, like, one percentile type of thing. Uh, but because this is an executive level, it does change things quite significantly because they realize that, well, to get into an executive level, you have to have worked for usually, it's typically 10 to 15 years. 
and you have to have been in a management role for at least five. So for me, I've been working uh, for what? We're coming up to 18 years now. And I've been in a management or a leadership role for 12? 12 to 4? 12? Yeah, around 12. Around 12. And so looking at this now, it's like, well, this could be a very interesting opportunity for me. If I do this, yes, it comes with debt. There's no question about that, right? Getting into any MBA is not cheap, but uh, not getting into it, but actually paying the fees for it is, is not cheap. And now I'm like, okay, but this could lead me to a path where I could actually become like a VP. So I could become like vice president, or if I stay in academia, I could actually become like a vice principal. That is very interesting. You know, that's very, very interesting to me. I didn't, I never expected that I could actually get that far. So I'm, I'm sitting back now going, hmm, you know, there's the house. I want to, I want to get a house, but now I, I'm kind of, I'm in this weird state. So I'm not entirely sure what, what, what I'm going to do at this particular point. But next week, I'll have a better idea of where things are heading. I'm meeting with the, uh, it's essentially, it's not a board, but it's like a, a forum of people to get a really, you know, a much better understanding of, okay, what exactly does this entail? Uh, I'm not too concerned about the finances. I, I should be able to, you know, get a student loan type of thing, and I'll be okay with that. I'm just very curious to see how this all plays out. So... This is a very long video already, and you're probably wondering, well, what the hell does this have to do with anything? Well, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist for you to realize that there's no way I'll be able to do all of these different things while simultaneously making videos of the yin-yang. So, no, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so obviously something's got to give, right? I do plan to keep certain things going. I mean, it's not like everything's going to stop, but the retro reviews right now are going to slow down. There's no way that they're going to be every single week it's just not it's not feasible to to do something like that so i only have i believe it's like this week and next week already like in queue uh but after that that's that and depending on what happens with the the um study plan that i come up with now i i might actually be on course on fridays and saturdays which is what i've been doing i've been using those days specifically for these videos so i don't know what's what's happening i'm not leaving youtube or anything like that uh, but certainly there's going to be some some significant slowdowns in some of the in some of the video content that you're used to um, and i just don't have a choice right like uh, this is a very very interesting opportunity for myself and it's almost like, well, I, I get to invest in myself. And I think that's really unique. I'm going to find out, like I said, I'm going to find out a lot more information. I don't know what's what. I'm going to take the GMAT no matter what, because it's actually very interesting. And it, it's getting me to think back like I used to, where I'm just not used to speaking English well. Uh, I'm not used to thinking in like that critical sort of way. It's a fascinating test. You should look it up if you're interested in going into uh, management because it's essentially you have to manage your resources. It's, it's crazy. You have, uh, I think it's like three hours or four hours for the exam, but there's 800 multiple choice questions plus a, or, or something crazy, you know, like I don't know if it's 800, but it, it's a, a ridiculous amount of, of stuff. And it, you really have to, to manage your resources very, very well. So that's what I'm going to be doing probably for the next, like, uh, what, two, three months. I'm going to be working just on that, on, on preparing for that. Now, if I don't get accepted, I don't get accepted, right? So if I don't get accepted, well, then we're right back to, like, okay, cool, awesome, and we just keep going with our content, and away we go. Uh, so nothing might change, but in the very short interim, I'm most likely going to be you know, doing a lot more vlogs, stuff that's fast, that I can give you guys some updates on some of the things that are going on, uh, Twitch-related stuff. It'll probably still occur. You know, I'm still going to be playing some games here and there. Uh, the podcast, people seem to really like that, so we're going to keep going with that. I'm going to look into potentially like a webcam sort of, sort of, sort of like layout instead of video games because I won't have time to capture footage. 
that's just not going to happen. So I think what I'll do instead is if we have like a webcam so that you guys just see us right away. So Stephen and I are talking and I'll just record that. The problem is with his bloody internet. I'm not sure how well that's going to how well that's actually going to turn out. But we're going to we're going to try a few things like that and we're going to see how that that pans out. Uh, outside that, uh, the Dragon Quest 10 Let's Play isn't going anywhere because that's only shot like two hours and, and it's fine. I can do that for two hours in the morning. I let that render. It takes pretty much all day to render anyways. And while that's rendering, I can study. I can practice and practice and practice. And that's essentially what the GMAT is all about. It's to learn the mathematics and the English that's required and then to apply it in problem solving. And you just do thousands and thousands and thousands of problems over and over and over and over and over again. And there is always with math, there's a rhyme or reason to the way you do things. So once you get back into the, the thick of things, you'll start to really pick it up quick and be like, okay, I know exactly what they're asking. Okay, so let's do this, 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 and that, and boom, there's your solution. And the same thing with the English. There's, there's these, there's very similar common uh, elements that will pop up over and over and over again. It's just readjusting your brain to thinking like that and then getting back into the thick of things. Uh, outside that though, I'm fairly confident I uh, would be accepted into the executive MBA only because of the the sort of positions that I hold. So I hold a directorship at um, at at McGill. Uh, so that's it's not it's not officially a director director, but what that means is like I'm responsible for an entire program. Uh, so there's that. Um, I'm also part of an international uh, nonprofit. So I am a program director there. It's an education firm. And then I'm a, uh, a partner in a consulting firm. So there's three different you know, areas there and they're all to do with management and they're all to do with high level management. So I'm fairly confident when, when my profile gets reviewed, I'll be a good match um, just because of, of all of this experience. Now it's really cool if you don't know, uh, not only do you have the MBA content, so that's Masters of uh, Business Administration, but you actually get to work with some really talented people and you get to experience the whole program for two years with these individuals and it's the same group for everything. It's not like you go, you go off to this course and you go off to that course, it's not like traditional university, it's you're paying essentially for one classroom, one, one group of people and the professors are the ones that change in and you basically are there for like seven hours a day um, once a week that's it and then all the rest of the content is up to you and that small small cohort to split it up and say like I'm gonna focus on this homework you take care of that this person's gonna take care of this we're gonna get back together and that's the way it works and you, you, you work very very well together in order to achieve this common goal and then at the very end in the second year you then actually fly off to do an intern in, excuse me an internship in another inst uh, institution another company and you get to be part of the executive board and help them solve some of the problems that uh, they're currently experiencing and then when you're all done, you come back, you get your lovely diploma, your lovely certificate, and a pat on the back. They say, thank you for all that money. And uh, to you, though, you now have a master's in business administration specifically from an executive point of view. And to me, that's very interesting. That's very, very, very exciting, actually. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this. So all this to say that the only thing that I see that's really kind of preventing me from getting accepted is that GMAT, which is what I'm going to be studying for. So anyways, I just wanted to do a nice long video here. I haven't touched base with you guys in a while. So this is a really important update for you. And um, I hope this is all good. And like I say, I mean, I'm not going anywhere. The channel's still going to be here. If anything, I'm going to learn so much through this program that I may actually be able to, to take this to like another, a whole other level. So we'll see what's what. Uh, just that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. I hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, yeah, so just as a just just one last time there. If you do see content starting to you know like go all over the place, you now know why that is. Anyways, I'll keep you uh, I'll keep you all up to date. The podcast I'll be giving regular feedback or whatnot. 
still, you know, games is, is one hell of a hobby, and uh, like I say, I'm not going anywhere. It's just a question of the amount of content that I'm going to be able to produce is probably going to be a little bit, ooh. And I didn't even expect it. That's, that wasn't even, this wasn't even on my radar for 2018. But I'm the type of person that when opportunity knocks, I like to answer the door. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, everybody. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.